It may look like a regular traffic jam, but this was a mass exodus in the open desert of northern Iraq. An estimated 40,000 civilians, mostly from the Yazidi community, had to cross this bridge after they fled the latest round of fighting in their area. Islamic State militiamen have taken control of the towns of Zumar and Sinjar, west of Mosul, forcing these civilians to flee towards areas under the control of Kurdish Peshmerga fighters. Thousands of Yazidi people have been killed and thousands have become refugees. 40,000 have fled their homes. Their town is controlled by the Islamic State and their shrine has been blown up by the IS. They're killing Yazidi people and it's a big attack against Yazidis. On Sunday, fighters from the Islamic State or IS were able to push further north, taking more territory from Kurdish fighters known as Peshmerga. The Kurdish militia said they were instructed to pull back to areas where they could regroup. We are now waiting for the president's orders to attack them and wipe out the IS. We are not going to let them get away. We will kill them, wound them or arrest them. But it remains to be seen if Kurdish fighters are strong enough to fight this onslaught. The Islamic State and Al-Qaeda breakaway group captured large parts in western Iraq during the last few months. They declared an international Islamic caliphate and launched a military campaign across Syria and Iraq. In their latest offensive, this time against the Kurdish fighters, they took control not only of several towns but also three oil refineries. And new maps published by the IS show Kurdistan as part of their Islamic caliphate, making it unclear where their push to the north will stop. Mohammed Van Al Jazeera.